Hey guys, my name is Jeremy. I wanted to do a quick demonstration here on this solar panel setup that I just put together just to check to make sure everything works. I'm going to be installing this in a camper here pretty soon, so I just wanted to set everything up, make sure everything was working. Um, so I'm going to go over everything that I'm using here. Um, it'll all be linked down below, so you can check it out for yourself. But um, yeah, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so yes, I have this in a wagon. Like I said, I just wanted to do a rough setup, make sure everything works before I actually fully install it inside of my camper. So let's start over here. Um, I purchased the starter kit from Renogy. This is the 100, 100 watt solar panel and then their uh, Wander uh, charge controller there. So uh, it comes with the wiring. It comes with basically these four wires right here, the uh, charge controller, and the solar panel. So what I've done additionally is I've set up switches for the uh, panel and then I have a switch for the battery to the inverter here. Um, I'm going to be adding a switch between the charge controller and the battery here in uh, just shortly but I don't have one yet. It's still on order. So uh, eventually I'll have everything switched so that I can turn everything on and off individually but for now I just have the solar panel on a switch and then the inverter on a switch. So 100 watts of power here. Um, the sun is not full power right now. It does look very sunny, but it's not all the way out. So I have this meter right here, which reads um, through various different things. You can see I'm getting 45 watts or so into the panel. Um, and then right here, you can uh, see 1.37 amp hours, uh, 25 watt hours, and then it's inputting about 23.1 volts. So um, I bought these Bougier V connectors to hook up this. Again, everything will be linked below, but basically solar panel into the meter, out of the meter, into the charge controller. And then what I did on the uh, wires that came with the Renogy um, kit is I just put a little red heat shrink on the positive one because they are just straight black so that I know which one's positive positive. and then like I said they run through here into the controller uh, just a simple right here you just have your solar panel input and then your battery output so uh, the two wires run into here and then output from the battery of course hooked up straight to the bat battery this is a Renogy 100 amp hour uh, battery, AGM battery, very simple sealed battery. It is pretty heavy, it's like 70 pounds. Um, so I went with this one over a lithium battery because I plan to, like I said, I plan to put this in a camper and I wanted the cold weather benefits of a lead acid battery as opposed to a lithium battery. Um, they don't work in temperatures like below like 30 or 40 degrees Fahrenheit so I wanted the benefit of cold weather usage and as a result I have to have a little bit extra weight so that's okay um, so right here I'm gonna change this but right now I just have a 200 amp fuse and a 200 amp breaker I know this is redundant um, I just needed to bridge this gap while I'm waiting for wiring um, I need to get more wire here which is on the way as well as the switch for the for this wire right here to break between the battery and the charge controller. And then this is a top bowl 200 or 2000 watt inverter. Um, pretty simple, it came with the wires here. Uh, on this side you have your two poles, and then on this side is the power. So you can see here, it's got a little battery meter right here, which is showing full. I'm at 14.4 volts. I know it's kind of hard to read on camera. 14.4 um, volts there, and then down here it's got two outlets and a USB plug so you can charge your phone along with two outlets. So I'm going to plug in a tool or something and we'll see how it works. Alright so I have right here plugged in to this light, this husky light and of course when I flick it on the light turns on. Wow that's an LED light so it does flicker but you can see that it is working. Of course in person it's not flickering like that. It is just a solid light but the inverter does work you can see there everything is working nicely so let's see if the specs are on here yeah 23 watts so uh, not a ton of power but this is a 2000 watt inverter so it's going to pull quite a bit of power uh, if needed so um, yeah everything seems to be working pretty well super happy with this kit 
Uh, I'm doing a camper build over the winter and this is all getting installed in it so I just wanted to make sure that everything was working and operating before I do a full install in the camper. So I'm um, super happy with it. Like I said, links will be down below. Uh, yeah, uh, anything you need, it's all linked down below.